Hi everybody, this is Al Cadulo, the 3D Guy, and I'm here today to show you how to make a Blu-ray 3D right off the line in EDIUS 6.5. Now the first thing that I do is I put my blank in and make sure that the autoplay comes up this way. I know that everything's reading properly. The second most important thing, we're going to jump right into this, is go to our project settings. And when you open up the project, there are only one of three ways that you can make a Blu-ray compliant disc. Either 1920 by 1080, 23976 progressive, 1280 by 720, 59.94 interlaced, or 1280 by 720, 50 progressive. Now I've gone for 50 progressive, uh, 1280 by 720 here. I've enabled my stereoscopic editing and I've enabled my 10 bit. And so here we go. We're going to click OK. I've already set this up for you. I put my demo reel up at the beginning. I've got my underwater Thailand show. This is my shark adventure in Bangkok. Some pretty ferocious looking sharks in there. And then we've got Chinese New Year Thai style. So this is going to be going out. As you can see, it's labeled as a screener copy across the top. I've added in chapter points very easily by going to each of the edges of each one of the videos and simply by clicking the marker button. This will give you chapters that will jump to each spot on your playback from your Blu-ray player or 3D Blu-ray player. Okay, now the next step. We're going to click Export. Notice Burn to Disk is lit up because we're using one of the three approved Blu-ray standards. Click Burn to Disk and it'll load. Here we go. We've got Blu-ray. Notice DVD is even grayed out. It already knows it's a Blu-ray. There are two different codecs we can use, either MPEG-2 or H.264. We can either use a menu or not use a menu. Now, if you're making a, a Blu-ray 3D, then you're probably not going to want a menu because your menu is going to be in 2D. Let's take a look. I'll show you here. Click Blu-ray, go to Style. This is what it would look like, and that doesn't really work very well. So let's go back to Basic. Let's say No Menu. Let's go right here to Movie. And one of the next most important things, things that you have to do, notice we're only taking up about 69%, so we can change our settings. And there's a very important setting here and that's right in your title settings to change this to either side-by-side, -side, top, bottom, line, interleave, or anaglyph. We're going to go with side-by-side. -side. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to turn off our automatic for a second, and I want to show you. You can go all the way up to 38.8 megabits per second. This gives you a very, very high-end, high-quality Blu-ray but it may take up too much space. Notice we're at 111%, so it's a little bit too big. So let's dial that back. In fact, we're going to dial it back even a little bit less. We're going to go down to 20, let's go to 30. But let's change this from CBR to VBR, variable bit rate. That way it will adjust based on motion in the video. Cut that down. Now we're down at 86%. So here we've got it set for 30 megabits per second, 1280 by 720. Uh, we can add more files or add more sequence if we want to fill it up. But if not, we just go here and we have our last set of options that we want to do. We can de de determine how many disks we want to create. We can give it a label. This one, for instance, I'm going to call it Screener 3. Oops, Screener 3. And I can send this, I can create a work folder, and I'm going to do this in the same area where I'm writing to so that it's all in the same project folder. And that's where it's going to com be compiled. And you can also just compile a disk image to the folder. Uh, you can create, here we're going to create the disk and also export as an image file. And you can do a verify after. And you, if you have multiple drives on your machine, uh, you can go ahead and, and uh, select multiple drives. So now all we have left to do is create the disk and sit back and wait. <laughs> 